Hello, my name is Stephen Cook, a solution architect at DocuSign. And today I want to go over some DocuSign best practices when you need to send out a document for signature that's created outside of DocuSign. I'll walk through some tips and tricks to make sending uploaded documents easy while still gaining all the benefits of DocuSign. For the first scenario, I'll pretend like I'm working in Word and started from a Word template that I've filled out and I'm ready to send for signature. All I need to do is click Request Signatures, and the document's automatically uploaded into DocuSign. Now, DocuSign is actually smart enough to recognize this document and automatically apply a workflow that quotes always follow. Uh, the sales rep needs to sign the document, and then the customer signs after. In addition to that, we've automatically placed DocuSign tags to automatically populate the name and date signed for each of those recipients along with where they need to sign. Now, even though quotes vary in length, either due to the amount of products or different states requiring different information, DocuSign is smart enough to place those tags in the correct location, whether it's on the first page for one quote or the second page for another. The way we're able to do this is utilizing what we call auto-place. What I'm getting at is really as a sender, Steps can be eliminated utilizing templates and configuring them in a way to fit your business process. Now, the same goes for other use cases as well, where if I have a contract, I can follow those same steps where my predefined workflow is applied along with the tags for each recipient. At this point, you're probably wondering how all this works behind the scenes. So let's take a look at the DocuSign template that was applied to the quote I wanted to send and the contract I wanted to send. Your template can be configured to meet your business needs in many ways, but there are three main components that are important, which are the document, recipients, and fields. The key piece of information that I want you to remember is that the document that is uploaded into the DocuSign template doesn't and probably shouldn't look like the document that is ultimately uploaded and sent. Really, the only pieces that matter are going to be the first and last 25 words in this document, along with unique strings to know who to bring into the workflow and where to place their tags. DocuSign template matching works by looking at the first and last 25 words of a document uploaded and comparing it with the document's first and last 25 words in DocuSign templates. So all you need for template matching to work is a unique header and footer of 25 words in your DocuSign template document and use that same header, footer, and white text for all of your starting templates. That header footer will define the template to apply to the document that you upload and send. The next key point is that all of my DocuSign tags in the template utilize autoplace text. This again is what gives you the ability to automatically place tags on those uploaded documents anywhere that DocuSign finds that specific string of text. You'll also notice that I have three recipients, but when the template was applied for the quote versus the contract, only specific recipients were brought in. This is because all of my recipients have auto-place text for every field, which means if I don't find any auto-place text for a specific recipient, they will automatically be removed from the workflow, giving you the ability to dynamically add or remove recipients based on the text in the document that was uploaded. To summarize, the document you upload into your DocuSign template should really only include a unique header and footer that will be utilized to drive template matching on your documents being sent. You should set all tag placement to use auto-place for your recipients so that they will automatically be placed in the correct location, but this will also give the ability to dynamically add or remove recipients from the workflow based off if those tags are found in the document. Ultimately, the document you upload drives what template to apply, what recipients to bring in, and what actions they need to take based on what text is found in the uploaded document. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.